we call dismiss or negate. Negate. Negating is not destroy. In uh, in uh, yoga world, you have got this uh, vasana shaya theory of enlightenment, and that means that you know, or, or the destruction of the ego. These the, the ego. Pro, uh, there's actually just one ego. It's not that there are a whole lot of different egos. You think there are a whole lot of different egos because there's a whole lot of different bodies, but actually there's only one ego. So it's just the same ego in everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's a ego is a principle. It's not. It's not a person. Ego is a principle that what that everyone enjoys that that ego. This is why ego is a joke. Because you know the ego thinks that what it's unique and special, when it's not. It behaves totally predictably. You say yes. I say no, you say goodbye, I say hello, hello, hello. Huh? Right? It's totally predictable, it's like a child, the ego is exactly, in fact the ego is that child that's part of you, it wants what it wants, the way it wants it, when it wants it, and it gets all bent out of shape when it doesn't get it. And there's not much more to it than that. So, and everybody's got that part in them, that, that ego part. So. If we can dismiss that ego, not kill the ego, but what? Understand that it's actually non-existent or apparently non-existent, then we can what? Set ourselves free of this sansara. Because the sansara is just the ego and its desires and the actions that are produced by its desires. It keeps it on that wheel of what? Time. It keeps it going round and round and round. The world of coming and going, we call it all in the scripture. Okay, so when, when you're awake, uh, how, do you go to, how do you go to sleep? How, how do you do that? 